Welcome to Thomas Adams School Virtual Year 6 Parents Information Video. My name is Mark Cooper and I'm the head teacher of Thomas Adams School in sixth form. It's a role that I'm very privileged and proud to hold. Thomas Adams School community is made up of 1,200 young people and about 130 staff, which makes us a large community that come together on a daily basis to make sure that those young people in our community achieve their best. Throughout this uh, video, you will receive uh, a large amount of information that you'll hopefully find informative and useful when making the transition into secondary school so that your sons and daughters can feel secure and confident about making that move to Thomas Adams School. Hopefully you will have already received these two documents which is the Moving Up 2020 booklet for your sons and daughters and also the Parents Essential Guide which hopefully you found informative. I'm particularly proud of Thomas Adams School because I truly believe it is a genuine comprehensive school providing the education for a wide range of young people from a wide range of backgrounds with a wide range of interests and hobbies. And I think this is particularly important given that a genuine comprehensive school prepares people for what is a comprehensive society, which I think is really important for helping our young people fit into that wider society. I'm now going to pass you on to Mr Winter, who's going to um, take you through some more information and then pass on to my other colleagues who will do the same. I will come back to you at the end of the video and talk to you a bit about our school values and how our school community is based around the key ingredients of thoughtfulness, kindness, consideration and looking out for each other, helping each other to achieve their best. OK, I'll hand you out now to Mr Winter. Hello everybody, as Mr Cooper has just mentioned, my name is Lee Winter and I'm Transition Coordinator at Thomas Adams School. The main focus of my job through the summer term is the smooth transition of our children from primary school to secondary school here at Thomas Adams. And my overall aim is that students feel reassured and supported along with their parents, but the children are ready to make this big step. And it certainly is a big step, we must never under underestimate that. Normally I'd be speaking to you after induction day, but obviously things have been a little bit different this year and that's not been possible to have our induction day in the normal way at the normal time. I'll talk to you a little bit later about our plans for induction day, but clearly that'll take place now at the start of the autumn term in September. I've mentioned that things are certainly different as you are obviously aware. Normally during the summer term, I would be making my visits to uh, our primary schools um, and I'd be speaking to the teachers, the head teachers, the SENCOs, and of course the children. But my role there, not only to make children feel reassured when I meet them and help them and support them in that transition, but is also to discuss the, the needs of every individual child with their class teachers to build up a, a perfect picture of them or as perfect as we can make it before they arrive with us. This year then we've clearly adapted our approach. We have indeed had virtual meetings with the class teachers, senkos and head teachers of over 30 schools, which has been amazing. And I should at this point mention that the primary schools have been absolutely outstanding in supporting us in this role. But we have discussed every single child, which has been fantastic. The downside of these virtual meetings with class teachers and heads, etc., is that I've not seen the children, which is a real disappointment for me, certainly, and possibly for them. Um, at the start um, of this week, we've started to make uh, virtual classroom meetings with the children in their classrooms. And so far, they've been absolutely fantastic. It's been a real bonus for me being able to do that. And we'll continue to do that until the end of the term. So we've really tried to prioritise support. And support has been really important this year. And we've had to do it in a different way. I've mentioned making those virtual classroom visits. Um, but I'd also refer you to our school website, possibly where you found this presentation. But on the school website, I'm hoping is a, what you'll agree is a wealth of information. Obviously, there's the letters that we've sent out to parents. They're all on the, on the school website, thomasadams.net forward slash admissions. But also, there's a welcome meeting, uh, a welcome video, I should say, from myself to the Year 7 students. And I also asked seven of our current Year 7 students 
to make videos of their own to the year sixes, your children. And they did a brilliant job of those. They were very candid, very honest, totally unscripted. I, I gave them the brief and away they ran with it. But I hope you've had a chance to see those. Uh, I think they've been very useful, hopefully very supportive for your child. We've also had um, a virtual tour, which was launched very recently. And again, it was no Hollywood blockbuster. It was just me, as I mentioned on it, with a selfie stick and my camera. But my intention was to provide students with a, a snapshot, a glimpse of what to expect when they come up to Thomas Adams. And that was really important. In addition, we will be launching seven Hello videos, this time from all of the Year 7 tutors to their new tutor groups. So your child can see their tutor, hopefully get a flavour of what they're like, and hopefully that again will ease that transition, make them feel confident. One of the biggest challenges for us um, at this stage is putting students into form groups. It's like the biggest, most complicated jigsaw I've certainly ever done. And it does take time to fit together. We asked primary schools to suggest groupings for their children who are joining us. Sometimes primary school teachers do that themselves. Sometimes they involve the children. I'd certainly suggest that this year has been a bit more tricky uh, in involving the children, but they do a fantastic job in doing so. We then fit that jigsaw together. Um, and the idea is that students aren't with their best friend, but they're with a familiar face, somebody they can share the first 15 minutes of the school day in their form room, share that time with a familiar face, and then that leads on to the rest of their lessons where they mix and meet with other students. Some they'll know, obviously, others they'll be meeting for the first time on those first few lessons. So the idea is it's a familiar face that they're grouped with, but the intention is they make lifelong friendships in that great opportunity of coming to secondary school. So the whole transition process for us as a staff, for the primary school staff, for you as parents and carers, and definitely for the students, has been different this year and not without its challenges. I'm going to leave it there. I will return before the end or at the end to talk a little bit about our plans for induction. I'm going to pass to Miss Holland, who is going to be your child's head of year. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Hello, my name is Miss Holland and I'll be head of year seven uh, at Thomas Adams in um, 2020. Um, I'll just give you a bit of a background. I've been teaching about 24 years and 11 of those um, I've been in pastoral working as a head of year in pastoral department so I do have quite a lot of experience with regard to the role as head of year. As a head of year I lead a team. We've got nine uh, year seven tutors this year from a range of different departments. Very creative very positive individuals. Your child is really, really lucky to have such experienced members of staff as their tutors. Um, basically, I'm the link between uh, home and school uh, and interdepartmentally, and I work with the teachers and the pupils and the parents as a team to maximise the potential of each child. Um, my role within the school is I look at um, safeguarding issues, and see if we can find um, support and I look at patterns in attendance and punctuality. I'll be the voice at the end of the phone when you call if you have any concerns at all. Um, I also um, monitor uh, academic progress and um, monitor behaviour uh, with positive reinforcement where possible and we try and deal with any undesirable behaviour hopefully we won't have too much of that. Um, I am basically direct a pupil to the right person to be able to manage a situation that we might be in, whether it be special needs or whether it be to do with behavioural issues or to do with situations that might have arisen at home. Um, primarily for me, uh, I want to make sure that every child in Year 7 is making a positive contribution to school and the wider community. Um, I try and smooth some of the friendship issues, um, building up resilience there and basically encouraging a child to develop the skills for later life. And I'm sorry that I can't meet you in person, very sorry um, because of Covid, um, but I do look forward to meeting you in the future. I'm going to hand you over to Mr Sterry now who will talk to you about expectations and standards. Hello, I'm Mr Sterry. I'm the Deputy Head Teacher at Thomas Adams. I just want to talk to you about a couple of things. 
First one of those is attendance and punctuality. Attendance is so, so important to students in our school, as it would have been at primary school. Obviously, the aim is to get as close to 100% to as possible for every student. We tend to find that there's a direct link between student performance, um, particularly academic performance, when they get over 95% attendance. So it's really important, please, to make any medical or dental appointments outside of school hours or in the school holidays. Punctuality. School is open for students from 8.40 in the morning. If you come in on the school buses, they'll make sure that they get you here on time. Um, if students are arriving by, via public transport or being dropped off, 8.40 is the time that school opens for them. We have plenty of rewards for students who are doing what we expect in terms of being in every day uh, and arriving on time. Equipment. There's different equipment listed which students will need for different subjects. Please make sure that students are well equipped. If they have any issues, if they just speak to their form tutor, they'll be able to sort them out uh, and give them some guidance and advice. As Mr Cooper mentioned, one of our core values is around respect. One of the easiest, simplest ways for students to show respect is just in the little things. Things like saying please, saying thank you, holding door op doors open for one another. When it comes to uniform, that's another way that we can show that we're part of the Thomas Adams School community. So please make sure that students are smartly dressed as they're representing us outside in the community. We have a really smart uh, PE uniform as well. Um, so if there are any issues, the PE department can give advice and guidance on that and lend items if things are forgotten. So it's really important for, for students' comfort that they remember their own kit. There's a home school agreement and this applies for year seven students all the way up to year 13 students. Please make sure that that's been read um, by both yourselves and the students, uh, your, your, your children, um, and make sure that it's signed, please. When it comes to learning and progress, you'll obviously be anxious to know how your child is getting on. We report back at least termly. The different re reports, depending on the year group and the time of year, do vary. Um, we tend to report on attitude to learning at all of those points. Um, but we also report on academic progress and how well students are doing compared to expectations. Home learning is vital, so students will come home with work from each subject. We do this on a rotor pattern to try and ensure that there aren't any uh, particular points in the, in the week when, when students get too much work. If there are ever any issues with that, if the students have got the confidence to speak to the teachers, or if not, just get in touch with the form tutor or the head of year in the first instance. Currently, we obviously also have remote learning. The remote learning is reported on through that reporting system that we talked about, so you can keep tabs on how well your stu the students are engaging uh, in, in that regard as well. We really do look forward to your son or daughter starting with us, um, and I'm really excited for their journey from year seven all the way up, hopefully into our sick form uh, in year 12 and 13. Hello, I am Jenny Whitfield. I am the Assistant Head for Behaviour, Welfare and Inclusion here at Thomas Adams. And I'm going to briefly talk you through uh, the care and support that we have on offer. So here at Thomas Adams, our core business is, as in all schools, uh, education and learning. However, being able to access learning for some children will require extra support and guidance and help and that is what we um, as a pastoral team at Thomas Adams provide on top of the educational service. Uh, we strive as a pastoral team to promote the values of respect, resilience and success on a daily basis and in all our work that we do with our young people. We want you also to feel that when your child is with us at Thomas Adams, that they are safe, that they are supported and that they are cared for. And that is what we have hold dear as a team. We've got a very strong uh, and effective pastoral team and they have a wealth of uh, skills and experience. So in the overall pastoral system at Thomas Adams, we have form tutors, we have heads of year, we have a senior teacher for behavior, and we also have a senior teacher for welfare and inclusion. Obviously the SENCO is a big part of our team, and we have a school counselor, a family, family liaison officer, um, an attendance officer, who works very closely with our uh, local county education welfare officer, and we also have several other pastoral support workers. 
We encourage pupils to drop in on uh, at lunch times and break times to access the support of the pastoral team. Obviously, in the morning, if they've got any worries or niggles, they, they will be informed and they can access their form tutor at that time, or they can go and find their heads of year. We encourage uh, lunchtime and break times down in pastoral because what we don't want is pupils to be missing out on lessons because ultimately we need to get children the qualifications that they require in order to move on successfully on their next steps in life. I mentioned our senior teacher for welfare inclusion. Uh, that person is a designated safeguarding lead uh, and there are several other members of staff who are also trained as designated safeguarding leads. Rowena Turner is our main DSL and she has worked very, very closely with our partner primary schools during the transition process. Um, and if you have any safeguarding concerns for your child or somebody else's, you must contact us for support and help and guidance. The numbers that you will need for a lot of the information I'm giving you are on the useful numbers section of the parent information that went out. And there is the pastoral and safeguarding number is the first number on there. As I mentioned before, we have our Senko, is a very important part of the pastoral team. Um, his name is Mr Tunner, and he also has already been working very, very closely with our partner primary schools to make sure that the transition process uh, is as successful as possible. We already have in place uh, plans for the provisions for our New Year 7s, um, ready for September. But if you would like to discuss your child's need any further, please feel free to contact the school um, and arrange a, a meeting uh, or a conversation with Mr Tonner. Again, the numbers are on the useful numbers section of the booklet. Um, what I, I, mean, I keep referring to the useful numbers because what I would really like is, or, uh, parents and school to have um, a strong um, communication and link. Communication is key for us to do our job properly. So if you keep us informed um, of any sort of issues or any upset that may have happened, uh, we have parents phoning up to let us know that the cat's just passed away um, and so you know little Johnny's really uh, concerned about coming into school, he's really upset, we know that. If we know that in advance, we can support your child and we can make sure that when they do come into school, uh, they feel, um, they, they realise that we empathise with them and that we um, can help them and we're there to support them uh, moving forward. So if there is anything uh, at all that you think, mm, I really, I probably should let school know so that they are aware, so that they can support uh, my child, let us know. Phone those numbers, um, just get in touch. We appreciate that and we don't ever think people are being uh, a bit um, a, a bother or anything like that. We actually would rather have the information and react on it than have to react to behaviours or, um, uh, or a, a very unhappy or an upset child and not really know um, the background to that. Obviously, as a pastoral team, we are there to help children uh, to um, communicate better with each other, but also to build resilience and to cope with situations that life is going to throw at them. So hopefully um, we do that in a very effective way and your child will, as they move through Thomas Adams, be able to gain confidence and experience in how to deal with situations. And our main aim really as a pastoral team is to teach pupils those life skills about caring for each other, about looking after each other um, and really about being kind. We also want to help uh, all of our children in our care um, feel that they fit in uh, with our community and our valued members of our community here at Thomas Adams. And most importantly, and I'm going to re repeat uh, myself probably, but it's building that resilience in our children so that they can move on to the next stages in their lives, prepared and ready and to be successful out in the community and in the future. So I'm really looking forward to meeting uh, the New Year's Sevens in September and uh, I hope that uh, this kind of puts your, um, you, you at ease and, and help you with uh, the transition process. Okay, thank you. And I'm going to pass over now to uh, Mr McAlevey who's going to be talking about the whole pupil. Thank you. Hello, my name is Mr McAlevey. I'm the assistant head here at Thomas Adams School and Sixth Form College. Here at Thomas Adams we pride ourselves on our ability to develop the whole pupil by providing you with a range of different opportunities and experiences that allow you to develop key qualities such as resilience, 
and respect, core values at our school, as well as the opportunity to succeed. Our extracurricular provision is extensive. We cover everything, from sport to media, drama to music. We've got it covered. And all it will cost is your time and enjoyment. Supporting these, we have a variety of different additional opportunities, such as productions, residential trips and tournaments. And again, for more information on this, please refer to page 7 in the Parents Essential Guide to find out more information. At the school, you will have the opportunity to learn skills for your future, in days that we call our future days. During these days, you'll have the opportunity to be taught by a variety of different teachers covering a variety of different topics about the world around you. And there'll be around about six of these during an academic year. Building on these days, you will have the opportunity to learn more about different careers, culminating in a week's work experience in years 10 and 12. The school has a programme that will help you learn about the different options that you have to you for further employment and education. As you progress through the school, you will have lessons focused on key things such as CV writing and interview practice. Aligned with that, you'll have the opportunity to experience our extensive careers fair and careers assemblies that again will give you an insight into the world of work. We're very fortunate that we've got a great careers advisor that can give you further information and guidance to really allow you to make informed choices about your future. Every student attends Thomas Adams has the opportunity to be part of a house and there are seven houses that are named after the local hills. These include Clee, Lawley, Hormond, Caradoc, Corndon, the best one, Hawkston and Grinsill. The aim of this house system is to provide you with some fun, opportunity to feel part of a team and identity, achievement and allow you to take part in things that you enjoy most to be able to contribute to your team's success. The house system awards pupils with house points for their excellence in the classroom as well as recognising that achievement in those extracurricular provision opportunities that I spoke about earlier. Throughout the year we have a range of reward assemblies recognising individual successes and at the end of the academic year we have the opportunity to then award the house trophy and the sports trophy to the winning houses respectively. And again please go to page 6 this time in the parents guide to find out more information. I hope this has gone some way to answer some of the questions that you may have about joining us here at Thomas Adams and we look forward to seeing you soon. Hello, my name is Peter Neal, I'm the School Business Manager. I'm here to say a few words about our transport system and also our payment system. I'm sure that most of you have already made arrangements for transport for September, but if you haven't and you live more than three miles away from Thomas Adams and this is your nearest secondary school and you live in the catchment area, you may be eligible to apply to Shropshire Council for free school transport. Also, um, if your child is entitled to free school meals and you're in receipt of the maximum level of working tax credit and you live more than two miles away and less than six, the council will also consider a request for free transport. For, for more details, please search for Shropshire School Transport online or call them on 0345 6789 008. For out of catchment area transport, the school subsidises eight private buses which run from Bash Church, Hodnet, Market Drayton, Oswestry, Shrewsbury, Turnhill via Priest and Whitchurch. To book a seat on one of these coaches or make an inquiry, please contact my colleague Mrs Corns by email at clc at thomasadams.net. If you wish to speak with her, please leave a message at the main school number, which is 01939 237 000. Mrs Corns is mostly working from home at the moment and she will call you back. A £50 deposit will secure a seat for your child and then it's £62.50 per month for 10 months by standing order. The payment system that we use for school dinners, trips and other events is called Parent Pay. It's an online system and among many benefits, 
parent pay allows parents to see what food and drink your child has purchased in the canteen on any particular day. We normally use a biometric fingerprint system, but because of COVID-19 restrictions, we're just going to be asking the dinner staff to press buttons into the computer from, for, for the time being. We'll send you a username and password so that you can register, but that'll be in September when you receive that. So if you have any questions about anything like this, please feel welcome to contact me. Thank you very much. Hopefully by now you will have received lots of information from my colleagues about the smooth transition to Thomas Adams School. And hopefully you feel in a position to support your young sons and daughters in that confident transfer to Thomas Adams School. As I said earlier in uh, my introduction, I was going to come back to you and talk to you about our school core values. I mentioned that our school community is based around people who are considerate, tolerant, kind and thoughtful. I think we wrap that all up into our first value, which is respect. Respect is how we go about our daily business, really, how we conduct ourselves selves amongst others. I guess ultimately it is about treating other people how you would like to be treated yourself. Just be kind. And I think that goes a long way. That leads to our second core value, which is resilience. This is really the, the, the value that transforms all that potential that our young people have into their actual outcomes. Let's be honest, education and life is never, never one smooth journey. It will always be uh, strewn with challenges and adversity. And resilience is about having the strength and the commitment to keep going, to overcome and never give up. And I think that's why it really is a key ingredient for transforming those young people's potential into actual outcomes. Our third core value is success. And I guess it's the outcome of resilience and conducting yourself in a respectful way. Success is about the individual successes of the, our young people whether it is performing on the stage, whether it's playing on the sports field, whether it's improving your test scores, or whether it's an act of kindness in our wider community. Those are all successes that should be celebrated. And that is our role as a school, to ensure that we celebrate the successes of our young people, to encourage them to repeat them, and also to reinforce with them that they are making a difference. Success is most definitely not a destination. It is a journey a sequence of steps whereby young people develop over time, celebrating their successes, but moving towards their end goal. And through their seven years with us at Thomas Adams, I hope they experience a lot of successes and we in turn celebrate those successes. As they move towards the end of their time at Thomas Adams, we hope they're in a position to make that next step to whatever they choose, whether that be degree apprenticeships, universities or employment. But we hope that we do that with them having memories of a successful time at Thomas Adams, operating around our three values of respect, resilience and success. I'm now going to pass you on to Mr Winter, who's going to bring this video to a conclusion and give you some more bits of information. But before I leave you, I would like to say I very much look forward to working with you in September and working with your sons and daughters. I would say that there's a key triangle to success, which is the parents, the pupils and the school, working together towards our end goal, which is to maximise the potential of the young people in our school community to ensure they're in a position to make that next step in their life after Thomas Adams School and Sixth Form. It's been nice to speak to you. Look forward to September. Have a nice summer and goodbye. Thank you, Mr Cooper. We're clearly very close to the end of our parents' information presentation. And I mentioned to you in my previous section that I talked to you about induction day. Now it was without doubt a huge disappointment to us as a school, but also I'm sure to the children and to yourselves that we couldn't undertake our normal induction day at the normal time and in the normal manner. The decision wasn't taken easily, but based on government advice and that of Public Health England, it was a decision that had to be taken. It's also a frustration that I can't share specific details 
of our September induction plans. At this moment in time, there are too many unknowns. We await further guidance again from the government and Public Health England. And once we're able to inform you of the plans for induction in September, we'll do so. Please be aware it may not be possible for us to inform you of these plans until mid-August, but as soon as we're able, we will do so. This will be by post, but also refer to the school's website where full details will also be posted. I'd also like to mention at this point the Parents Essential Guide. Mr Cooper mentioned this at the start and there's a wealth of information in there that I hope will prove useful to you, enable you to answer some of the questions that your child may have and hopefully just be a useful resource. If you'd like to contact us, you know that you are more than welcome, either by email or the school's phone system. Both contacts are in that Parents Essential Guide or on the school website. Please don't hesitate to do so. Likewise, regarding your contacts, if your contact details have changed in any way since the start of the application process for secondary school, then please let us know. That includes postal addresses, preferred mobile contact number and preferred email contact number, please. Again, I'd encourage you to refer to the website. We're uploading more and more support materials as the time, time passes over the next weeks. Before September, we hope to add more and more to that site. Please refer back to it. I'd like to take the opportunity to thank all the staff that have contributed to this presentation and I'd like to thank you for taking part too. Thank you for watching. We hope you found it useful. We very much look forward to, to meeting your child, to meeting you and undertaking this, this journey of education together and we thank you for your support now and in the future. Take good care and we'll speak soon.